Today we're going to be making a Kung Fu Hustle stencil uh, based on the movie poster. It's going to be made using Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, Procreate, which is an iPad program, and a laser cutter. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and actually find an image that we want to work with. Uh, today we're working with the Kung Fu Hustle uh, movie poster. So I'm just going to search on Google, try to find that kind of have in my head the one that I'm looking for already. So basically we can just copy it, paste it right into Photoshop. And I like to make my clipboard, or sorry, my canvas of Photoshop a little bit bigger than what the image was. So it kind of defaults to having uh, a new canvas be the size of the image that you have on your clipboard. Um, especially because we don't want something so re low resolution as what this image is, we're, we're going to make it a little bit better. So I'm going to duplicate the layer just to make sure that we have kind of the original one still preserved. Um, and basically to convert this to black and white, the most common one that I use for stencils is image adjustment threshold. And it really converts everything to, to pure black and white. You can use this slider to kind of drag how much um, fill you essentially want to have. I think right about here looks good. It kind of captures the detail enough of like showing that this is people. You can see like a little axe down there. You can see the dude still flying out and about. This is actually pretty perfect. Um, I'm going to remove a couple things. We're going to go into Procreate next. So I'm just going to remove um, basically all of the white. So you can use the magic wand to select everything of the same color. Uh, click, Unclick contiguous and that allows you to select all the white in the whole layer. Uh, and I'm just going to delete it. You can show the bottom layer just to make sure that you know it's all gone. Um, and yeah, I think we're ready to go ahead and send it over to Procreate and we're just going to use the iPad and the Apple Pencil to accentuate some of these features, connect some parts that, um, you know, would look better as a stencil. If you don't have an iPad, you don't have Procreate and an Apple Pencil and all that whole setup, it's really just uh, a more simple way of using like the eraser tool. So you can go ahead and, and erase things with the eraser tool in uh, Photoshop with your mouse, but um, that's a little bit less easy than just using like a stylus to, to draw. So we're going to send that over to the iPad now. So now we have the file over on the iPad. We're going to open it up in Procreate and you can just send over the Photoshop file um, because Procreate preserves all the layers. It's pretty cool. So as you can see, everything is kind of there. So basically what we're going to do here is just take some small details that are unnecessary and remove them. We're also going to like accentuate some features that uh, aren't visible and that way we're kind of going to make this uh, a better stencil than it would have been before. And we're just going to go ahead and erase some of the shit that's in here that doesn't need to be. So like this stuff, you can't tell what it is. So we're just going to go ahead and Take it out. So we're done erasing. We got all like the little useless details out of there. Um, the next thing we want to kind of do is accentuate basically some of the parts that aren't shown. So like you can't really tell that right here that this is a fist. You can't really tell what's going on there, but those are obviously like parts of his arms. And those are kind of what I'm seeing here that the main thing, I mean, this, this guy in the middle is kind of our main um, feature of this. So we want to make sure that everything's shown. So what I'm going to do is show this bottom layer while I stay on this um, black and white layer, hit my brush tool, and I'm just going to start kind of tracing around some of the parts that um, we want to keep in here. So like 
this arm is a good example of something that we, we actually, we want to see that it's kind of crossing over his body here and that this ends up as like a fist on this other side. Um, same with uh, this, this other arm that's kind of hanging down. You know, just be light with the, with the tool, you know, maybe follow some shadows around and you can always flip the layer off and on just to see like what it ends up looking like. So turn that bottom one down. You can already kind of see that adding just those little swoops in there provides like the context. I think this one might need a little bit more, this top arm. Um, so. Yeah, so I think that gets, that gets the job done for the most part there. Um, So now we kind of have all the details that we want to show. The kind of the next thing we need to do is consider that some of these things are, as it's a stencil, it, it all needs to be one piece. The black parts are going to be cut out. So if any black part is surrounding any white part, which the white part is going to be our plastic stencil material, a cutout area can't fully surround a white part or else it's going to fall out. So we're gonna go through this design now, pick out any white that's surrounded by black, and we're either gonna connect it to white by using the eraser, um, and we call those bridges, those little connection points, or we're going to just um, black them out and get rid of them. So a good example of some that we can totally just black out are these bottom ones here. So like these hands, um, you know, connecting them would look really weird. So like, I'll give an example of what connecting this hand would look like. It would look something like that. And that doesn't make a whole lot of sense in the context of this scene and it's just unnecessary. So we're not gonna deal with that. We're just gonna get rid of it. And I'm just gonna go through here and, and do that with um, a couple different things. <laughs> I think the next part is we're going to start making bridges um, and start just connecting the white and making it some of the spaces a little bit more open. I'm going to turn down the eraser just a little bit. Um, and, and like I said, the, the white part is the plastic. So it does need to connect, especially with something that's fairly detailed like this. Um, it does need to connect in, in a, quite a few places for us to be able to um, Kind of have a stencil with some good structural integrity here. So rather than um, just making bridges, um, at, this is what we do at Stencil Stop, rather than just making them kind of across a leg or something super oblique like that, we like to just smooth them in with the design. So there's, there's quite a few contours of this design where we can simply add bridges and it just kind of flows with everything and so that's why, you know, if you see me putting them in certain places, that's the reason. Um, you know, I'm just kind of taking things at an angle um, or maybe kind of tucking them into a corner rather than just going like so um, obviously across something. And that's why I like to use Procreate with this, the Apple Pencil too, rather than uh, rather than the computer mouse, because it's obviously a lot easier to, to kind of smooth things out with this. We'll use this little spot right here kind of um, as an example later on of a way that we can test out if the bridges are um, working or not. So yeah, just keep an eye on that part. I'll kind of uh, highlight it later on in, in, uh, in Illustrator as well. So just like one final check because I think what, uh, what I'm seeing looks like a finished product here uh, for the most part. So we are just going to show kind of the 
the bottom layer and yeah that looks more or less like the theme is kind of getting across this dude is kicking all this ass so yeah I think we got it um, we're gonna send this over to Illustrator back on the computer and um, kind of go from there so now we got an Illustrator um, and the reason we're doing this is to convert it into a vector format so that our uh, laser cutting machine can actually read this cut out the lines and turn it into a stencil. Um, next we're going to image trace this thing and what I like to do when I'm image tracing something is just pull up a duplicate of the image. Um, so just kind of copy and paste it right next door. That way you can see your original next to the one that you're tracing because uh, it doesn't always convert super clean. So this one will because we designed it and obviously as you can see it looks almost exact same. Um, this one's just a little, like, the lines are a little tighter. Obviously, that's exactly what uh, Image Trace does. This is pixels, um, and this is now a series of points and lines, contours, if you will. So um, you can go ahead and, and expand it, ungroup it, and delete all the white again, because all we need is the black parts, and those are what's going to be cut out. So in Illustrator, uh, sorry, on Procreate, I went ahead and used the eraser tool to make all these bridges. So what we're going to do is actually test out um, if I made enough bridges uh, by going through this little process that we do here at Stencil Stop when we're designing stuff. Um, so we'll copy and paste this again, and we don't need the original um, from Photoshop anymore. So you'll just take um, basically any kind of brightly colored rectangle so we can use green for this one and you're going to use the pathfinder divide tool to um, essentially determine if there are any parts of the stencil that are floating that that would fall out if um, if they got cut out so you'll highlight everything divide and then ungroup it and what you should have is the green should all be one piece and the black should all be um, one piece. So you can click on this kind of bulk uh, area of the green, just delete it, and we'll see if we have any green left over. Um, there are uh, no green spots left over. But I'll go ahead and show an example of what that would look like. And this is the kind of part I mentioned when we were in um, Procreate. This, this zone right here. So I'll go ahead and just reconnect all this black back to itself. And again, the black is a cutout area. So if any black that's falling out is surrounding white, then that white part's gonna fall out. But we can go ahead and do this bridge test again. Um, rec green rectangle, send it to the back, highlight everything, divide it, ungroup it, take the green, delete it, and as you can see, this part's going to fall out. So what that tells me here is that I need to add bridges, right, which is something I already did, but you can just use the eraser tool in Illustrator, boom, connect everything back, um, and again, the detail down here doesn't need to be super distinct you can kind of tell what's going on when you zoom out, which is how you're going to see it as a stencil anyways. So the only last thing we really need to do is send this over to our laser cutter, uh, which just reads Illustrator files. So now we're down here at our laser cutter. We got the Illustrator file sent over, so uh, we're just going to load it up and press start basically. And here's our stencil. So as you can see right here, um, where we did the bridge test, nothing fell out. It's all, it's all perfectly connected. Um, so there you have it.